shot there from Tate. Girls love money, and that's not entirely true. Sick boy on the beat. It's not that cool. It's not that cool. It sounds a bit. Which one is cooler? Pounds. pounds. GBP, number one. What is pounds? The best. What do you think? Australian? Australian? I've never seen Australian. Why, why do you like Australian? It's plastic, though. Yeah. I mean, the texture, right? Yeah, yeah. We live in Romania. Romania is plastic, same. Yeah, Romania is Romania is plastic. Yes, we did with this. Backups to go. <laughs> I think you need backups. <laughs> It's a very good cookie. It's macaroni and cheese, but it's actually quite a good American once again. Yeah. <laughs> 
in America like four years ago. Yeah. It was crazy, isn't it? Advanced countries world. I think what pisses me off about the United States as well. Fucking Wi-Fi. I guarantee the hotel we check into. We're checking in, we'll pay. It's not that expensive, this hotel. 100, 200 bucks a night. Whatever it is, I bet you have to pay $15 for the Wi-Fi as well. <laughs> Land of the fucking free my ass. Where's the free fucking Wi-Fi? <laughs> Romania's got fucking Wi-Fi everywhere. Go to a fucking cemetery to go a Wi-Fi network. Here, it's, you know, log in, watch six adverts. Give us six of your phone numbers and your passport number. Pay us 15 bucks. Credit card details. For fucking Wi-Fi? Most advanced country in the world, my ass. America. <laughs> First flight experience of my life. Fly to a man Jordan, four hours, two hour wait. A man Jordan to JFK, 13 hours, five hour wait. JFK down to Austin, Texas, four and a half hours. Long day. And what's the worst thing about it is Tristan booked it to get us to Austin, Texas. So obviously Austin, Texas is a small airport, so he did this bullshit roundabout. Yeah. When he could have booked Dubai to Houston, direct, 12 hours, and then we could have just took an hour and a half in a car, we would have been here. We would have been here yesterday, bro. Yeah. We would have been in the sky twice as long. But we were first class. Drank a lot of champagne. He did looks you, like a geek. Did you champagne in the taxi? <laughs> of course you're fucking no. Selfie and, a, and a, uh, a selfie for verification and a picture of your ID to make sure it's you so we can process you in. I took a picture of my ID outside of their fucking hotel and sent it to them. We got a new one uh, and I attached it saying, cold and stuck outside, hurry. She said, hi Tristan, there was no image attached. There was. One minute later, actually we received the image, but we still need a selfie. I reply with a selfie and I say, what kind of hotel thinks it's too cool and quirky to have a fucking reception desk? This is a total failure. Nothing about this was said on Booking.com when I booked it. Do you rednecks not have international guests stay ever? I'm outside at 2 a.m. taking selfies like a fucking jerk after 24 hours of flying. Hurry. Dorks. Alright, so it's the same code for the room upstairs? I have two rooms like this. Can you run for one? Alright. Me and you would like to bed in the upstairs. You run for here. Figure it out tomorrow. Booked these for a few days, though. To be fair, I booked it because the room was pretty nice. We should all dice and see who loses. Yeah. Alright, you know what? It's a very fair system. Do you have dice? No, we have virtual dice. Run for the joint dice. I'm gonna be uncomfortable, but dice is the way. I know I'm gonna lose because the world hates me today. The world doesn't like me today. I'm losing a dice. Right here, two dice. Ready? No. Let's 
Ready? You want to go first? Just tap the dice. Eleven. Eleven. Ten. Ten. Seven. You have to see for the couch. Oh, my. God damn it! <laughs> Lower fold, dice is a fair system, and that's just the way you move, of course. This is a fair hotel. Chevrolet Suburban. <laughs> <laughs> 